I have never loved uh, any girl uh, other than my mother <laughs> as much as I love my girlfriend, and I'm so happy to uh, to, to 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 be with her uh, first to to live this life together, uh, and and with our relationship with God to be able to live, you know, forever in heaven together too, and also to raise, you know, a family, a strong family that. Uh, it communicates truth and beauty, and we have a good time while we're doing it by right. just being creative. I mean, this girl is one of the number one designers in the world. I don't know exactly what her numbers are, but like Sears is like something like 300, 400 right. million a year. She's been spending her whole check on clothes since she was 16, just like <laughs> me. And that's the reason why both of us are the most influential. Right. You, it, it ain't just taking any right. celebrity. It's like, this is in our code. You know, this is what we do. I think uh, me and uh, my girl are extremely influential you know, greatly due to the paparazzi. Now, I'm going to word it in a kind of way. Me and my girl are the most influential. <laughs> so, they are the ish, period. So, uh, she handles it really well, though. Yeah. I have to say. Yeah. She handles the paparazzi very well. Well, what's so amazing, I, I, I love the fact that God has put her in my life every single day. One of the reasons that I did Watch the Throne with Jay wasn't just to do a, a dope album, which we did. It was because Jay-Z has the best social skills of anyone that I of anyone that I knew mm -hmm. at that time. And I wanted to learn from him. I wanted to learn how to move, like he said, teach you how to move in a room full of vultures. He knows how to move in that room. Mm -hmm. I go in and be like, that's a vulture. That's a vulture. <laughs> Get away that's from me. Right? He's like, ah, ah. Right. Like, so kind of ro robotic and very intense personality, but to like just to knock the edge off and learn from Jay. And then God has now given me another master of the social skills, which is my girl. She's right, like right. the number one socialite in the world. So she she knows how to because it's like, yo, baby, what about? And he's she She's like, look, it's just, it's just not that serious. You could chill out on this. She's like, just I, imagine the idea of me as Kanye West just learning to chill a little bit. <laughs> it's just like, and that's what I've been doing. Right. Yeah. And that's what she's teaching you. And because of your girl, I have ass envy because I don't have any. Yeah. And when oh, she wow. came out with that picture <laughs> yeah. the, uh, in the bathing suit, yeah, the white bathing suit. Recently. I was like, man. Now I love the men, but I was like, damn, you lucky. I'm just going to say. Yeah. I'm like, just going to say. Yeah. I see know? it without the bathing suit. I know, boo. Yeah. Are I we just, marrying this girl? I just feel so blessed. I feel so. <laughs> Did you hear my question? I, see, Are I'm we not, marrying I'm not, this I'm not, I'm not answering any of those. You're not going to answer that? I'm not answering on those questions. Well, I know since you're a Christian yeah. boy, yeah. Yeah. it might happen down the way a little bit. Yeah, I'm just not answering that. <laughs> there you go. But I had questions in my mind because, you know, I come from a religious background as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, obviously, you did. So I was like, to me, almost to a certain point, it's like, what is he really trying to say with the thorn on the, the thorn crown on the head for the cover of Rolling Stone and the Yeezus tour and everything? So now from you just saying that, it seems more of like you're trying to spread a word type situation instead of trying to symbolize yourself as a God. Yeah, well, for me, I, I'm Christian, okay. and I'm hip-hop. Right. So you mix those two things together, you know, uh, and you want to express yourself a certain type of way and be, and be bold and expressive. There's people who wore, like, a Mercedes-Benz logo because they couldn't afford a Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> and, like, you know, you've seen all type of commercials growing up. You know, you want to be like Mike, you want to be like this. For me... I, I want to be like Christ, right. okay. and there's some sometimes, uh, and that's not to say that to walk, you know, in His image or think it's no God complex okay. like that. But like, if people pick like a favorite Halloween character, it's like that's what I would pick. You want to be Jesus Christ? <laughs> like I want to because you know, don't people pick people that they look up to Absolutely. and stuff? So that so my thing from a design standpoint is like that's who I look up to the most. Okay. So it's hard for me to even. Look to look up to anyone else. Right. I only look up to Jesus mm -hmm. and to God, and everything that I do anchors around it, nicknames itself mm -hmm. to that. Like that's like my hero. 
You're trying to help and make people think because, you yeah. know, you're coming out and it's like people see this white Jesus walk out on stage, <laughs> right. you know what I'm Boy, saying? Yeah. And you're like, you're going to think tonight when you come to my show. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to open up your mind and make you think. Yeah, and I've talked to pastors about it. And uh, uh, I talked to uh, uh, my friend, Pastor Rich, that has a church down in Miami and asked him about it. And my, and my, my girl asked him separately, too, like, do you think that's kind of weird right that? And he said, look, <laughs> we have plays where right. people play Jesus. That's true. We, we have people who represent that. And that's one of the things I was saying. I was like, I am so happy that I was raised in a religion where we could actually portray God. You know, certain religions where you're not allowed to. And in my, in my beliefs, you are allowed to. I'm happy you got to explain yourself because I know yeah. a lot of people had questions yeah. about that. So, you know, cleared that coming up right from there. probably yeah. like where Kim's coming from is like she's probably sees things already in a certain light because she's been exposed to what's going on with everybody watching the audiences. So she was like, well, people might take that a certain way, which it takes you coming out and doing interviews like this to explain yourself. Like, look, I don't think I'm God. Right. I'm trying to show you all the truth right now yeah. and what's going on and having symbolism to your tour and your stage presence. Yeah. So what's up with the, the black mask? Yes. What's the symbolism Tell me about this. That? You know, I haven't figured out the whole backstory. <laughs> <laughs> I just liked it. Right. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. fresh. Oh, thank you. That's, that's what I was up to. That's what right. I mean. <laughs> Sometimes it's just freshness, you know what I'm saying? Right. 106. KMEL. Hip hop. Hip hop. The Bay Area's home for hip hop and R&B. One thing I said that I, I don't think I hit all the way out the park on Jimmy Kimmel, I said, I'm a creative genius, whatever. And what I was kind of trying to say is, like, don't just look at me as, like, a celebrity or a musician or mm -hmm. this and that, which there are creative geniuses that are celebrities and musicians, but understand that I've got something more to give. But one thing I wanted to really uh, help explain was the, the thing, my creative genius is uh, creating around geniuses using creative geniuses right. to express, getting out of their way. If someone's more talented than me at stage design, at art direction, at playing the guitar, at production, at rapping, at anything that it is, I will step out of their way. I'll ask as many questions as possible. I'll send Drake all 10 tracks and ask him to write every one of those choruses right. until we, you know, John Legend wrote the original, I know you're tired. No, I wrote the original, I know you're tired, loving well, and then he put, <laughs> so grab somebody, no leaving this party with nobody to love, nobody, nobody. And then Charlie came down there and like right. was doing this. So actually John, me and John wrote that chorus together, but it's that collaborative thing right. that Quincy Jones did back in the day where you just get out of creative people's way. Right. So.